Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous tutorial, we have discussed uh, what is instruction means how many types of instructions are there according to the addresses. Uh, then we have seen that uh, which instruction is used in uh, which organization means uh, zero address, one address, two address, three address. Okay, so out of uh, this instruction, zero address will be used uh, with uh, you can say stack based organization one and uh, two address. Uh, sorry, uh, two and three address instruction will be used with general register organization and then uh, one address instruction will be used with uh, a stack based organization and at, at the end of uh, we have discussed uh, uh, risk instructions. So after discussing the uh, instructions, now let us see or uh, let us discuss that uh, which are the various ways uh, using which we can address the data into the memory. Now, uh, for that we have to use addressing mode. So very simple question that what is need of addressing mode? Okay, uh, so uh, addressing mode uh, will be helpful in uh, various scenarios uh, like uh, giving programmer to uh, uh, very uh, large addressing space. Okay, let's say let me tell you uh, if we are using indirect addressing mode, then uh, we can use 16 bit or in many cases, even we can use uh, 32 bit addressing mode if we are storing address in two, in, uh, two memory location. Then, uh, in many cases, let's say uh, we, are, we are storing the data consecutively and we also want to access the data consecutively or serially. So, at that time, uh, we can say uh, index based addressing mode will be helpful. Then, uh, for example, in multi-processing operating system, uh, while we are relocating the program, means once the process is uh, uh, swept out from the RAM, okay, and uh, means process is suspended, and again, uh, if process is uh, resume, uh, at that time, uh, process will be relocated into the memory. So, in that case, uh, the uh, all the address should be recalculated. So, in that case. Uh, uh, we can go with the base address uh, addressing mode. So uh, addressing mode will give programmer uh, flexibility uh, to use uh, uh, different addressing mode and in, in different scenario. Okay, it will also reduce the number of uh, bit in the addressing uh, mode or you can say the addressing field of the instruction. So uh, we know that each instruction will have three part Okay, the first part, the la if we start from the last, then uh, there will be address, then there will be at uh, opcode, and then there will be, uh, you can say, addressing mode. Okay, so there will be three component, three, two, and one. Okay, so before uh, performing any operation, uh, Using opcode, CPU will first evaluate the effective address of operand using the addressing mode. Okay, so uh, let us start with the various addressing mode. So first addressing mode that we are going to discuss uh, is implied mode. Now, if we discuss about implied mode. So in this kind of addressing mode, there will be uh, not any, uh, we can say, explicit address of operand. The way we are doing in uh, memory reference instruction. Here by default, operand will be stored into the accumulator or any register. Means operand will be available inside the CPU registers. So no need to uh, specify any operand. Okay, so uh, if we write down the characteristics, so no need to specify operand. Okay, why? Because it is implicitly specified in uh, registers. Specified in register yes the example of implied mode is for example all the register reference instruction okay uh, complement accumulator then clear accumulator then uh, shr means uh, shift circular shift right then uh, circular shift left 
ओके कॉम्प्लीमेंट एक्सटेंडेड एक्यूमलेटर कॉम्प्लीमेंट सॉरी क्लियर एक्सटेंडेड एक्यूमलेटर ओके इंक्रीमेंट देन डिक्रीमेंट सो ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके वेर वी आर नॉट स्पेसिफाइंग ओपरान एक्सप्लीसिटली ओके सो ऑल दोज इंस्ट्रक्शन वी कैन हैव वी कैन से दैट दोज इंस्ट्रक्शन आर वर्किंग विद द इम्प्लाइड मोड वेर ओपरान इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन टू द एक्यूमलेटर और वी कैन से द सी पी यू रजिस्टर्स सो आई थिंक दिस विल बी द फास्टेस्ट मोड वेर वी डो नॉट हैव टू और सी पी यू डो नॉट हैव टू प्रोसेस द एड्रेसिंग मोड and it will be executed in fastest way okay but only uh, limitations will be there the, uh, we can uh, use or, or we can specify the operand uh, or number of operand will be uh, uh, limited by the number of cpu registers okay uh, many uh, zero address instructions will be also uh, belong to the implied mode okay for example uh, push then uh, pop then zero address instruction like uh, add which are used in stack based organization so they are also part of implied mode now next addressing mode that is immediate mode yes so uh, how this is different compared to the uh, implied mode in implied mode uh, operand was specified in uh, cpu register while in this case uh, operand will be specified in instruction itself so operand will be specified in instruction itself okay now what will be the advantage of this so if operand is specified in uh, instruction itself so no need to uh, calculate the effective address or, or no need to refer to any register or in memory okay uh, operand will be retired from the instruction itself so uh, this will be uh, little uh, this will be comparatively slower compared to implied mode why because whatever operand is specified in instruction it should be uh brought to the uh, accumulator so uh, in uh, immediate mode operand will be specified in instruction itself uh, what will be the advantage uh, no need to access memory now if we discuss the downside of this addressing mode okay then uh, here many times what will happen that uh, uh, size or the data amount of data will be uh, limited to the uh, size of uh, let's say instruction okay so if uh, there is a 5 bit uh, let's say 3 bit is for uh, op code okay and 2 uh, bit is for addressing mode okay out of 16 bits so 3 plus 2 5 so we can specify only 11 bit data okay so if we try to convert this into the integer range then 2 raised to 11 means 2k so we can store data uh, in range of uh, 0 to 20 uh, sorry uh, 2047 so in that range only we can uh, process the uh, we can uh, store the data okay but if we are using 16 bit of data then uh, we can store the 2 raised to uh, 16 okay so that is a very huge number compared to the normal uh, or you can say the immediate mode so uh, uh, data uh, will be limited so for larger data uh, this immediate mode cannot be useful okay so for small say uh, for small set of data or you can say uh, for a small uh, small range of data this addressing mode will work very fine next is register mode yes here operand will be specified in the register operand will be 
specified in computer register or CPU register rather than computer computer register we will say CPU registers now this will be faster compared to immediate mode why because in immediate mode uh, we have to read the instruction uh, and then uh, we have to convert that uh, we have to bring that data into the uh, CPU register while uh, what will be the advantage in uh, CPU reg uh, CPU or oh, sorry register mode in register mode CP uh, operand will be stored into the CPU register only and CPU register are directly connected to ALU so uh, uh, CPU registers are the fastest mode of uh, you can say the memory which are uh, that we will discuss in memory organization so uh, CPU registers are directly connected so this will be faster compared to immediate mode but it will be slower compared to the implied mode why because in implied mode operand is in uh, accumulator itself so in register mode uh, operand will be specified inside the register and uh, it will be faster compared to the immediate mode okay in case of register mode whatever value we have specified inside the register uh, it will be considered as a value of operand uh, next mode it is uh, register indirect mode register indirect mode yes so uh, how register indirect uh, addressing mode will work register indirect mode rather than treating the value of uh, uh, register okay value which is stored inside the register rather than treating it as a an address we will treat it as a uh, rather than treating it as a value we will treat it as a address okay so the value of register uh, will be treated as an address so uh, address will be stored into register now this addressing mode will be faster uh, compared to uh, direct and indirect why because in both of case uh, we have to fetch the address from the memory while in this case what will happen the uh, address will be available inside the register only so no uh, there will be no need to uh, calculate the effective address why because effective address is already stored into the uh, register so address will be stored into the register uh, only one additional memory reference will be required required to get operand okay no need to calculate effective address clear with this now uh, in register mode what will happen uh, we will specify operand in register itself while in register indirect mode we will specify the address of operand into the uh, register now what will be the advantage here in uh, register indirect mode let's say i can specify the operand up to 16 bit let's say if, if we assume that register size of the register is 16 bit then we can have a memory of 2 raised to 16 okay so 2 raised to 10 is uh, for uh, 1k then 2 raised to 5 is for third uh, sorry 2 raised to 15 is for uh, we can say 32k and 2 raised to 16 is for 64k so using register indirect mode we can have access up to 64k memory okay while in case of register mode we can have access up to less than 16 or 32 registers only so uh, this is how register indirect mode will work uh, so in this video uh, we will keep up to this in next video uh, we will see uh, more addressing mode with the example of uh, all the addressing mode okay thank you